woman came in and she goes, she goes, she goes, Dr. Do gerbils have individual fingerprints like human beings? Why, are you missing some wood chips? <laughs> no, no, we said, what do you give a Great Dane with diarrhea? I said, plenty of room. <laughs> and this other lady, she goes, how old should my dog be before I tell him he's adopted? <laughs> I like to, I, you know, dog food and cat food, feed my dog before I came here, a Gaines burger, look who's in that, all beef, no soy, no fiber. Look what I was eating, all fiber, all soy, no beef. I just, <laughs> just switched plates with him. And, and, and now we're selling gourmet cat food. When did cats become gourmets? What kind of gourmet coughs up a hairball after he eats? And we're selling beef-flavored cat food. Beef. Cats evolved in the Mideast. They never saw a cow. A cow is one of their natural prey objects. Anybody who has a cat can tell you the flavors they like. Rodent, fish, bird, miller moth. Right? Moth seems like Mardi Gras for the cat at my house. Not beef. I don't get calls to say, Kev, this is Tex over at the stockyards. Your tabby just knocked another steer down, just dragging it home. <laughs> Being veterinarians, we're supposed to not be afraid of any animal. But I'm afraid of spiders because they creep you out. The way they move, they got hair and saliva. That's wrong. <laughs> A bug shouldn't have hair on it. And now the pet stores are selling big spiders. Hobo spiders and tarantulas selling big wolf spiders. This guy came to our practice with this plastic shoe box, and this giant spider. He goes, be really careful, he got out a year ago, he bit my room in the face and he had to have his head drained. I was like, get a phone book. But that, that's, not, that's not a practice builder dropping a phone book on your patient. Even I can tell you that. So I said, well, sir, what's wrong with him? He goes, well, he's just not himself. <laughs> not his perky spider self? He called in late for work? He goes, no, he hasn't eaten in several weeks, and yesterday his leg fell off. I was trying to think of something learned to get him out of there, right? So I didn't have to touch the thing, you know? So I said, you know, it's been my experience when the, you know, the, the, the leg comes off, they're obviously ill. <laughs> Sounded good, didn't it? And I remembered that the Museum of Natural History had old Dr. Lick, the spider expert. I said, go see Dr. Lick, the spider guy. He's gonna help you. The guy leaves about an hour later. Lick calls me. Dr. Fitzgerald, Dr. Lick. Hey, did you send Mr. Montgomery over here with this big spider? <laughs> yeah. Did you tell him, in your opinion, when the leg came off, they were obviously ill? <laughs> yes. If you were taking time to examine him, you'd seen he's in fact dead. I just didn't want to get my head drained, whatever that would mean. What does that even mean? A spider is a pet? A spider is a pet, like a black widow is a pet. A black widow, you know why she's called the black widow? Because after the male performs his husband-like duties, the female eats him, eats him. Except sometimes, sometimes the male is hip and he offers the female a food object and while she's distracted, he performs his husband-like duties. And that's how Valentine's Day started. <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I made that up. That isn't really true. It didn't, it didn't start like that. 